the architectural approach to this project stemmed from the client's brief and very strong brief to have a private sanctuary, a house that was really immersive, something that really envelops them. So it was so much about creating the right experience and the right kinds of experiences and spaces so that they could live in the house that they'd always envisaged. I'm Matthew Murford from Mitsuri Architects. I'm the practice director and I was the lead on this project. I'm Melissa Lim from Mitsuri Architects. I'm the principal of the practice and I was one of the design architects on this project. The Immersion House is located in the inner western suburb of Melbourne. It sits on a corner site that slopes gradually towards the back and it's in a sort of quiet residential area. So the inspiration for this project was really around our client's desire to create a, a sanctuary and um, a home that they could raise their family in um, and, and creating that space, that immersive experience when inside the home was the key inspiration for us in terms of how we configured the site and how we craft the architecture around that. The rear connection to the outdoors was really, really important because in order to create that sense of a singular indoor and outdoor space, we had to connect them almost seamlessly and but very naturally. So you could you almost don't detect what is in and what is out when all the doors are folded away. The rich natural material palette was fundamental to the feeling we want we wanted to create in this home. So that sense of sanctuary and immersion, that experience is enhanced by the use of natural materials. So we're not talking about a big space with white walls, we're talking about a space that's really textured and really natural, immersive, and it feels fundamentally connected with its surroundings. So when we started to think about the product that we would use for the timber work in the home, we knew that there was going to be a lot of timber work throughout the home. We needed to find a product that would be really well suited to all those uses. When selecting tongue and groove boards as the product of choice for this project, um, we needed to look at technical aspects as well as design aesthetic. We knew that the board looks good, but we needed to know that it could do the job in all the applications that we had in mind for it throughout the home. So the tongue and groove boards are used extensively throughout this home. We've got them on the floors in the heritage part of the home. We've got them on the walls and ceilings throughout the extension. We have them on the staircase. We have them on joinery elements and it's really a fluid transition from floor to wall to ceiling to joinery. So that material needed to flow seamlessly throughout the spaces and across all those surfaces. The reasoning behind selecting such a minimal palette of materials was that when there's a palette that has a quality that ties it all together, um, it makes the space sing. So it, they, it all exists very harmoniously. The concrete, um, the timber, the steel, all sit together really well and create a space that has a real feeling of being natural and all enveloping. The most satisfying aspect of this home was our ability to create a home that was really focused on the experience for the inhabitants. That was our ethos throughout the entire design process. Um, we also enjoyed creating a new addition that really celebrated and respected the existing heritage home, the way that it wraps around that building and opens that building up uh, from within the home was really satisfying as well. I think the thing we're most proud of on this is uh, on this project is that we are situated on a corner block that's actually quite exposed and we were able to create something that was so immersive um, with a whole series of unique experiences as, as you move through the spaces um, and that was really something that the client wanted to achieve but didn't know they could achieve when they started the project and, and we're so proud to be able to do that for them.